ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय We're continuing with the prayers of the ladies on the roofs of Hastinapur. Yavirya shukena hrita svayang vare pramatya chaidya promokan hi sushminaha prajumna sambamba suta dayo para yaschakrita bauma vade sahasrasha Please repeat the children of these ladies are prajumna samba amba and etc ladies like rukmini satya mama and jambavati were forcibly taken away by him from their swayamvara ceremonies after he defeated many powerful kings headed by shishupal and other ladies were also forcibly taken away by him after he killed bomasura and thousands of assistants all these ladies are glorious let's do the next one etap parang stritvam apata peshalam nirasta shaucham batasadu kurvate yasam grihat pushkara lochana patir najat vapaiti akriti bir ridispasham please repeat all these women auspiciously glorified their lives despite their being without individuality and without purity their husband the lotus eyed personality of godhead never left them alone <laughs> at home he always pleased their hearts by making valuable presentations <coughs> so i was reading today recording the section in krishna book after krishna kidnapped not kidnapped after krishna rescued the 16100 queens married them and by each queen he had 10 sons and one daughter and it was mentioned there each queen thought that krishna was attached to her that she was the only one just see how krishna behaves and krishna again was playing the role of an ordinary husband so what did krishna do he made them feel he played the role as if he was a henpecked husband very intelligent of krishna he let them believe oh yes you can troll me one but actually krishna was always detached and they would look at krishna and flirt with krishna and try to uh agitate his senses krishna was controlled krishna only had relations with these wives just to have children no other purpose and again krishna married these queens to give them the benediction so let's see let's name the a principal eight the first one who was the first rukmini then in the cave he got the second one jambavati then after jambavati satyabama then somebody by a river kalindi then mitravinda satya na who was satya there was a king nagnijit and the stipulation was there were seven bulls and the only person who could marry his daughter somebody who would be able to capture and wrestle and control the seven bulls but these bulls were so powerful 
nobody could do it so what did Krishna do manifested seven forms and tied up all the seven bulls and Satya got her desire to marry Krishna then the next one was Badra and the last one was Lakshmana and Lakshmana tells the story to Draupadi that like you somebody had to shoot a target but Lakshmana said the difference between yours and mine mine was more difficult Lakshmana said whoever was able to pierce the target had to be able to look up and down simultaneously the only person who even touched the fish was Arjuna he almost did it but then Krishna shot the target Lakshmana had the garland and she gave the garland to Krishna those are the eight principal queens and then I told you the story of the 16,100 and later on there's a incident where Draupadi at Kudikshetra is talking to all the queens so the representative of the 16,100 queens is one called Rohini which is different from Balaram's mother because she was one of the queens but she was their representative okay let's finish up Sutta Goswami so the prayers are over Sutta Goswami said while the ladies of the capital of Hastinapur were greeting him and talking in this way the Lord smiling accepted their good greetings and casting the grace of his glance over them departed from the city Maharaj Yudhisthira although no one's enemy engaged four divisions of defense horse elephant chariot and army to accompany Lord Krishna the enemy of the Asura demons the Maharaj did this because of the enemy and also out of affection for the Lord out of profound affection for Lord Krishna the Pandavas who were of the Kudu dynasty accompanied him a considerable distance to see him off they were overwhelmed with the thought of future separation the Lord however persuaded them to return home and he proceeded towards Dwaraka with his dear companions O Shaunaka the Lord then proceeded towards Kuru Jangala Panchal Shurasena the land on the bank of the river Yamuna Brahmavarta Kurikshetra Matsya Saraswata the province of the desert and the land of scanty water after crossing these provinces he gradually reached the Salvira and Abira provinces then west of these reached Dwaraka at last on his journey through prop these provinces he was welcomed worshipped and given various presentations in the evening in all places the Lord suspended his journey to perform evening rites this was regularly observed after sunset so before we go into the excerpts from the purports we will chant just a little something Krishna 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 hey Krishna 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 hey Krishna Krishna 
Krishna, 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 Rakshama. Krishna, 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 Pahima. Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rakshamam. Krishna Keshava, Krishna Keshava, Krishna Keshava. Pahima Everybody chant the Maha Mantra, please. 